Yeah, I have decided to let go of this world, to turn my back on it. There is such a long time now that I have, to such a great extent, disagreed with what's happening in the world. The moral and ethics that are truly being lived. Um, and the direction we're all heading with. Everybody has to decide that for themselves. But for me, the illusions that I saw um, within this reality, they just didn't match up. They just, for me, they don't feel right. And then there was always, okay, then do something against it. And I said, no, I won't. I used to be a fighter all of my life. I have fought many battles, mainly on the football pitch as a sports person, but also as a human against my older brother, against my father, against my mother, against anybody else who seemed to be stronger or faster or more powerful or more successful. And I won't do this anymore. So I decided to go and surrender on my healing journey. And what I do is healing is, is, is to realize that healing always happens in the relaxation process, in the surrendering process, in the letting go process. Um, in the Bible, so beautifully it stands that the, the fox has their, their cave and the, the bird has their nest. But someone who travels truly in my name as a, as a son of God, as a child of God, uh, has no cushion to rest their head on. And it is a constant journey. It's keep going, it's keep going, because truth always emerges anew and changes and adapts. Um, and I love that. Yeah? The truth of this morning is the lie of the evening. Um, I mean, if we would work in our best intention, that's one thing. But if we just have my will shall come, my kingdom shall come, like money, power, um, the might over other ones, then this is just not on for me anymore. And therefore, it was very clearly given and, and said to me, do not go against, do not go into the battle. And I have numerous experiences I could describe you of what happened when I go against, when I go into resistance, when I go into fighting something. It just doesn't work. You have to let go of that what you're fighting um, to know that there is nothing to fight. So I let go of my material possessions and follow um, my sonship then it says clearly there's only one you shall call the father and that's your father in heaven so that's that principle it's like trust your intuition and then suddenly when the world on the outside becomes so displaced from its alignment from its morals and ethics that you say it's like it's hell on earth out there um, a life is nothing worse for the sake of money or power. The US is gambling on the thousands and numerous of lives of Ukrainians, of Russians, and now as well of European people. And they don't care. As long as they get their might, their power, their money. A life does not count anything. You know why our life here on earth has become so endangered? Because our individuality as a human being is not being able to thrive and to flourish and come um, into this life as an experience that we would need. So certain parts of this process, of this natural process of there is abundance and everything is there. All the people would be there if they would do their own thing. Yeah? What would happen if just suddenly everybody decides to be a bee and everybody buzzes around? It's like 
let the bees do their job and if you are a butterfly or if you are a bird then do whatever that is and don't try all to be the same thing and equal but the refreshing on it is that we're so numerous and so unique in our individual ways all that we need is have compassion and love for each other to say it's like wow what a sight what for balls to be like that how awesome so yeah i decided after many calls that came through via dreams and in my own awareness that this is not the right way anymore and the only way if you can't fight against it then you have to turn your back onto it and say okay i'm not taking part anymore uh, if you want to change something in the world um, mainly in this consumer world then stop consuming just tell the certain companies if this is nestle or apple or whatever whoever abuses the environment of child labor or the nature in itself with its resources um, the only way as a consumer is to not buy the good anymore and within our society where our society has become such a place of rules and regulations and you have to fit in you have to do this and the cost is your individuality it's your gifts to the world um, and they're out there and to find that to go onto the road to trust that thy kingdom shall come thy will be done and that in this relationship with the greatest spirit of all with god that we have all gotten a helper the holy spirit or our intuition the feminine principle that receiving part of knowing there's something greater out there that leads us and I truly will show you um, if you stay connected and, and watch my videos and I'll keep you updated and keep you posted of what's going on and where I'm going and who I meet and, and what wonders I will uh, experience and how much I learn to heal, how much I learn how to step into my Christ being, to become Kai Christ, a son of God in the name of Kai, right? as the great master that have walked before us jesus it doesn't say anything else that yeah he has brought it to its mastery and he truly was able to transcend this world and die and still enter the next phase no other one really has done this and maybe I will never achieve it that's not the goal for it but the goal is the potential that he has laid out say so look if you wish you can do that and the potential that would be there to heal instantaneously it's just it's incredible and he said it all that is there if you would listen carefully he says like thy belief has healed you but it takes someone great that the person can project onto them to say, oh, if I only touch you, you I shall be healed. So to do this, we, we have to create a great aura, a great personality and a great stamina of, of, of out, um, authenticity to stand there, to be aligned with our true self, to show up like that, that people can project so clear visions onto it so pure um, might and love being a, a being of love of pure love that they would say if i just touch you i know i would be healed all my illusions would be gone in this moment if it's a broken bone if it's any sickness or cancer or um i can't see it is possible so many smaller things i have come across and I want to see what else is there. I want to see what I need to do to get closer to my um, potential, to all our potential. It's all there for us. Um, and I need to go out there. And it's your 40 days going into the desert, into an unprotected state. Um, I don't know how long I will be out there. And I'm scared shitless. 
Huh? I'm having wearing my nappies every day and exchanging them four times a day. Um, so someone says you have such a, um, a, a in, an instinctual trust, and I said, no, I don't. It's been taken away from me um, through my birth, my childhood, my upbringing, and so on. But I haven't got it, but I wish to have it. So that's why I go out there to gain it back, to integrate it back into my life. And it's like the initiations. Our Western world have stopped really doing initiations with us. And I can truly say now that now with 45 years of age, I have initiate, initiated myself into adulthood through different steps I have done. And maybe that's now the final one. Um, so head out there 40 days into the desert, into an unprotected state and see what happens. And, and get along with your demons, befriend them and ride them. I love the saying that says about the dragons, right? Wise people that don't slay dragons. They ride them. They befriend them and ride them. That's wise. That's a wise man. That's wisdom. And that's what I'm trying to do. And by no means, it's an easy task of to surrender. I sit here in my apartment and I have to get rid of everything. And you realize in that moment where you should take a picture and say, take it away. Just if you wish, give me a little donation, whatever it is, whatever you can give, it's okay. And if you can't, then that's okay either. And trust the process. So I'm staying here and in this moment where you should let go of it, you realize Wow, how much attachment have I got on it? On my rug or on the stones or on the new music system or the the plants that I have or the picture that I have drawn that I love so much and and the Buddha and and everything and all the clothes and my Tumi um my Tumi trolley. My god, I bought this in I bought this ages ago and it was my most cherished and my most carried around thing. I took it everywhere and it's just nearly as new. I mean, it cost a fortune at that time, but, uh, but it was just my to me back. I never thought I would get rid of it. And it's so silly. It's like a, a trolley case, but it has been with me now for um, 20 years, for over 20 years. It's one of the last things maybe that I could say that I have 20 years. Everything else has been, uh, is gone, but that's still there. And now I have to get rid of it. And I get rid of it by says like, look, whatever it is, give a donation and that, that'll be all right. So letting go, surrendering, trusting that there is abundance in life. That life and nature has a certain abundancy that's there. In particular, um, if you trust your father, your father in heaven, then he will provide whatever you need. Not what you want, but what you need. And isn't that a part of the humbleness? I experienced that so often in sexuality. My sexuality turned 180 degrees because I became humble. I realized that wasn't me who is doing something great, but that I'm thirsty, that I'm humble enough to say I'm the seeker and I'm going to the well to still my thirst. And in that moment, you had that respect and that humbleness to actually approach it with, uh, with um, reverence and in humility to appreciate and honor and respect it. And, and then everything changed. Suddenly my whole body says like, okay, that feels right. That's good. And of course the partner then also did that and many things got explored that were impossible beforehand. So there is a certain kind of back to the roots um, that allows a new world to come forward. A world where there is moderation, a world where there is enough is enough because if we have enough, then there's plenty of it for others. But if I just 
keep collecting and keep collecting all my stuff. I did it with books, for example. Every book I, I uh, found that was somehow spiritual or so, I took. You know, sometimes the, the boxes are outside on the road and people said, look, help yourself. There's any books that are there. Um, and then I saw and I took four or five books because they were great about spirituality and so on. But also, I've never read them or maybe only one or two. So therefore, I took it away from other people because I gathered and 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 um, took them all for myself. And now it's like, let them go. All the books that you haven't read or that you have read, let them go. And yeah, many of them I have bought and paid for, let them go. And alone that is, since I let go and have given my notice for work and I've given my notice for the apartment, my mind went boom. This is like, can't deal with this. I have no reference points. My mind is always trying to find safety and security so that survival is um, assured. And my mind says like, what the fuck? I have no idea. There is no safety now anymore. You're just out there. But with that, all the tendrils that were busy doing a certain thing, they're now open. And now they connect to all these other things and you get the all this information and all this buzz and your body is buzzing like three octaves higher because it's so open for new things. And it's like, wow, okay, um, life is awesome and there's freedom. And it's like, I, I lay in bed yesterday, two days ago, after a long day at work and I lay down, I had my... Um, my things where I listened to my, my heartbeat. And then I just got such a smile on my face. I got so incredibly happy and my heart opened up so incredibly. And the first time in my life, I became that what I wanted to be. A son of God. And I knew I had surrendered myself to something greater than my fear. And I had become that, that no job in the world since uh, a professional footballer, I think that was really dear to my heart. But all I you always knew, it was like, now I have signed up and I have owned my sonship, that I am walking my life as a son of God as a Christ and yeah, I have a long way to go and my skills are like 0.001% of all of that. But you know, I'm on the way and that matters. I'm truly on the way. I have two more, two months more to exchange and buy new nappies <laughs> to deal with my fears of with my anxiety and with my excessive buzz about what's going on but i'm excited and i have signed up for it and i have told too many people so there's no way back anymore so i'm not going to do it now i have to let go surrender release that's how healing is done surrender let go Trust, have faith, relax, breathe out. It's okay.